we are at the new Senior Center. It was designed to be easily accessible and senior friendly. Hi, welcome to the Hadley Senior Center. We're glad you could come today. Let me give you a tour of our new building. We really love it. It's full of openness and light and welcoming. Here you are in the living room with comfortable places to sit. We have a propane fireplace. Looking forward to having books in our shelves for people to borrow once again. We have a wonderful view of having the agriculture out the window. Also a table in here for doing puzzles. This, this table has drawers so you can put your spare pieces in them. On the wall we have the leaves of love. Um, tree, which is a fundraiser for the Friends of the Hadley Council on Aging. And you can buy a leaf and inscribe it to yourself, to family, to friends, whatever you would like it to say. go down the hall. And in here, we have the classroom. Again, the lights come on automatically. They, they actually have sensors so that the ones near the windows at the moment are slightly dimmed in the ceiling, but you can change that if you need to and make them brighter. There's lots of good storage in here, tables and chairs. One of the things I'll show you over here, uh, how about this one I'll show you. In this room, we have six of these floor um, boxes, which have plugs and data ports, so that if you're working at a table, you don't need to have a cord running from the wall that somebody might trip on. And these, of course, are flush with the floor. We have the monitor and two whiteboards for working on for presentations or classes. We have another wonderful closet in here. This has the AV storage for this room. And more chairs for the dining room. There's some long-term files for the senior center. We're also going to be storing um, town voting equipment in here because town voting will change from Hopkins to the senior center for the September election. This wall surface is fun. It's a tack board, a self-healing tack board. You can put a thumbtack in it, take it out, and you won't see any mark for it. We also have that in the art room. bottle, a water bottle refill, filtered water, and a drinking fountain, but at the moment we're not using the fountain part of it.
all of our benches here have built-in storage underneath, which is a very convenient use of space. This is our physical equipment exercise room. Again, when you walk in, the light will go on. We're still waiting for one more piece of equipment here. This is our game room and lounge with access to the outside. We have a new pool table waiting for people to use. A few sticks are on the wall. Another puzzle table, card tables. We have two great closets that Gary Berg has been kind enough to build shelves in for games and puzzles. So we're all prepared. We'll be having a curried coffee pot down here so if people want to make themselves a a cup of coffee or tea that's available here. This is our creativity room. At the moment it's housing all of our plants from our previous locations because we're not quite sure where we're putting them yet and a lot of them need to be repotted. There are two sinks in here for our projects. Lots of storage, good light, east and north. Nice view of Wanzik's nursery out the windows. We have our exercise room. One of the most popular rooms. The chairs are a little squished together at the moment because they're still working in here. Again, we have good storage. The famous Christmas tree. The famous Christmas tree. We have artwork that will be a rotating show from Hadley Artists. This is our janitor's closet. not finished. We're still under construction, so things are still happening in here. This is one of our storage closets, which has our chairs and other things that we're not using at the moment. Again, the light goes on when you walk in. So this is our kitchen with all beautiful new equipment, so that when we can populate the building, we'll be able to serve meals. Looking forward to having Nora's lunches with us again. We have pots and pans and sinks and hand washing sinks and all kinds of things that will be really useful. We have a wonderful storage cabinet closet here, pantry if you will. All of the rooms when you walk in, the lights go on. We bought new dishes and silverware. And we're really quite excited about using it all. At the moment, we've taken down a lot of the tables in our dining room because of COVID. And we know we won't be able to have it fully operated. But normally, we have tables of six, the bigger ones, and tables for four, the smaller ones, which will let us seat 87 people in here. Then we go from the dining room to the most important place in the building, the bathroom. <laughs> the bathrooms are airport style, so you don't need any hands to walk in. 
going into the ladies' room, you'll see we have enough stalls and sinks. companion restroom so if you with someone and they need help or you need help and you have someone with you you can come in here and have your own privacy and then we have the wellness center in here we're going to have the nurse the foot care clinic the spa treatments the massage treatments. When we are a heating and cooling center, we will have an additional bathroom here with a shower in case we have to cool people off. We will have a washer and dryer stacking built in here so we can do tablecloths and linens. And in here we're going to have our space to have our equipment rental, not rental, loaning closet so that people who are looking for something can call us. And that's the tour of our building. Thanks for joining me.